Hey, what's up guys? This is Melly Lee. I'm a photographer and this is now my YouTube channel space thing. Just a quick intro for those of you guys who aren't really sure who I am because most of the time I'm seen from the back of my head because I'm always taking photos and stuff. I'm a photographer in Los Angeles and I specialize in taking a lot of weird quirky pictures of people who are passionate, creative, and I shoot them in kind of this weird sort of quirky awesome style that I think it's pretty rad. Um, so a lot of you guys have been asking me on my blog, how do I retouch skin? And to be honest, there's a lot of different ways to retouch skin. You just gotta kind of find whatever technique or method works best for you. I'm gonna show you guys five different ways to edit skin. And the first tool I'm gonna talk about is really easy to use. It's called patch tool. So go to your tool bar, select the patch tool, and all you do is you look at your photo, and this is a picture of me. I have terrible skin right now, but that's okay. Everyone is flawed, but being flawed makes us beautiful. So what you do is you take your patch tool, circle the area that you don't like, or it's blemish, or there's like a pimple or some discoloration, and you drag it where all the nice, good, pretty skin is. Um, this is a really, really great tool for a quick fix. I personally don't use it too often though, because the way that patch tool works is that Photoshop will take whatever area that you're dragging to, average out those pixels, and you're degrading the image every time you use it over and over. And sometimes textures and stuff don't match. The second thing you can do, which is also super easy, is the spot healing brush. Same thing as patch tool, but instead of circling, all you do is take a paintbrush and paint, 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 click away, click, 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 click. Photoshop is doing it's every area that you're swiping away at. It's just averaging out these pixels, it's cloning over whatever area that needs to be fixed. In addition to a spot healing brush, there's also a regular healing brush, which does the same thing, only difference is now you can hit Alt or Option, so you can actually select an area that you want to sample from. With spot healing brush, Photoshop chooses for you. And the third tool you can use is the clone stamp tool. You can find it on your toolbar or hit S on your keyboard. What this tool does is you hit Alt or Option to select an area that you want to sample from, and you just directly clone whatever area that you're sampling from onto whatever place that you're going to be clicking and painting away at. Alright, fourth thing you can do, which this gets a little bit more technical, this technique is called frequency separation. It gets a little bit technical because it's not a tool that you just pick off the toolbar. What you do is first you gotta click on your background layer, then duplicate this layer twice. On one of these layers you're gonna apply a Gaussian blur. So I'm using a Gaussian blur of 10, but use whatever radius you want to um, pretty much blend everything together. Once you've done this, say OK. Then you take the other layer that you duplicated and you're going to click on it, go to Edit, Apply Image, then you set Blur Option to the layer that you applied the Gaussian Blur on. Then you change the blending area to Subtract, make sure your scale is at 2, your offset is at 128, and say OK. Once this happens, you're probably going to get a big gray mess. And don't worry, this will go away. Change your blending mode to Linear Light, Boom, your image looks normal. What we pretty much did is that we took the original background layer and we separated it into two layers, a texture layer and a color layer. On the grayed out layer, which is your texture layer, you're just gonna do the same thing with stamp tool, which is find areas that you want to sample from and just clone over. You're pretty much smoothing out the skin texture. On the layer that's all blurred out from Gaussian blur, you're gonna take a lasso tool and feather it out a little bit so it's not gonna make a harsh edge and select those areas of pigmentation and hit Command F and it's going to just reapply that Gaussian blur over and over within the area that's in the lasso. This is a really great way to edit skin if you're trying to get away from patch, healing, brush looking aesthetic, if you will, that really porcelain looking thing. The fifth and last way that you can edit skin that I want to share with you guys is using a combination of clone stamp and dodge and burn layers. I like this method the most because it renders like a really genuinely non photoshoppy looking skin. It looks really natural. Um, the only thing is it takes a really, really long time. Like I was saying, it looks really natural. And for me, my, I guess, 
philosophy towards how to approach retouching in Photoshop is make your subject look like they were having the best day ever. For instance, like if their hormones weren't going crazy and screwing up their skin, or if they actually slept the night before so their skin looks great, or they didn't eat crap the night before so their skin... Pretty much like if everything in their life was working together and that's how they would look. So to get into this method, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your stamp tool again and take out major things like blemishes, stray hairs, just things that can be easily cloned away. Once you're done with that, what I like to do is I like to take out all the color in the images using the hue set layer and then I'll t boost out the contrast using another curves layer. This just lets me see areas that need correction or have pigmentation. Then I'll create my burn and dodge layer using more curve adjustment layers. And all you really have to do is just create a layer pull the curve up or down depending whether you're dodging or burning, and invert their layer mask. What you're going to do now is you're just going to paint over layers that you want to correct. So what you're going to want to do is take a paintbrush tool. I would lower the flow and feather out the edges just so things blend easier, and just paint over the darker areas just so they match the rest of their skin tones. And like I said, you do this for quite a long time. I'm just trying to remove patches of skin that might be dry or I don't know why I'm discolored. It's okay, I'm human. We're supposed to be not perfect. Is that this is pretty much what you'll end up with. Um, this is my before and this is after. So these are my initial check layers I created with my hue sat layer and my high contrast curve layer and as you can see I took out the areas that had pigmentation I took off most of my blemishes and pimples and you can see the difference when I turn off my dodge and burn layers to finish this photo off I just added a few of my favorite adjustment layers and then I added a layer for film grain and this is the final photo. I am being a complete dork in my room with my peace sign and Miley Cyrus Chung. If you want to check out this photo and the results of the other editing ways, please check out my blog at blog.mellylee.com. Thanks so much for checking out my first YouTube video. If you guys want to see more behind the scenes or retouching or anything else photo related, please hit subscribe and hit the thumbs up below. Leave me a comment about what you want to see or what else I can share for you guys. Because if I don't see any interactions, this is going to be my last video. Bye!